Hey guys, it's Ali TBS here. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today's video, I want to cover multi million dollar company Netflix. If you don't know what Netflix is, I don't think I need to keep you in the loop. But Netflix is a streaming platform with hundreds, hundreds of millions of users, right? Netflix is huge. When I did a poll about what drama people wanted me to comment on in my newest video, Netflix won by a pretty big landslide just below yonder similar bullshit so as you can see today i'm going to be covering the film cuties which is now being released to netflix the french film also called mignons and uh yeah netflix has 200 million members as i said but basically this film has seen a landslide of hate recently J absolute abolishment man the whole thing has just been destroyed with drama but it all comes from the twitter threads about it so, ha as it reads here, so, cutie is the sexualized 11 year olds to the point where Netflix had to limit it to a TVMA rating. As you can see, the cover is over-sexualized children. The description is Amy 11 becomes fascinated with a twerking dance crew. Hoping to join them, she starts to explore her femininity, defying her family's traditions. Now, I have several complaints just within this description. Amy 11, <laughs> twerking dance crew. This picture of 11 year olds is fucked up, starts exploring her femininity, not sure, not sure that's the best place for 11 year olds, defying her family's traditions. So, they're bringing religion into this song. Oh, no. This isn't gonna go well. As you can see though, Morton Tomatoes it has an 82% tomato meter and an audience score of 6%. So. As you can see, they call it a free-spirited dance click here. All this bullshit. And... <sighs> so, how... it's got a good rating from the people that have actually seen it. It's even won an award at a event, basically, by pedophiles, I believe. But there's this one screenshot I've seen coming around a lot about if Netflix support pedophilia. Whether they do or not, they wouldn't be able to comment either way. They're a brand, they're not allowed to make statements on that in most cases. Especially not about the consent of all the higher-ups. But as you can see, it's a TVMA-rated film about 11-year-olds joining a dance crew. <laughs> if you don't see the issue already... Ugh. So, I thought what I wanted to do was... I wanted to give the trailer a look, but firstly... This mum is, yeah, I agree with this so much, mum. She's portrayed as, like, a terrible person because her daughter is, like, doing really bad shit. And then the Sundance founder pleads guilty to child sex abuse. Ugh. It's a whole big drama with this whole film. People are cancelling their memberships. Um, the description was actually changed, though, right? So the new, the new description was changed to just free spirit dance crew as i said but that doesn't make it better this film is still a very disgusting film that really shouldn't be on the platform now i want to give the trailer a look right because i believe netflix does this trailer so poorly in all their representation interjection before i play this trailer this is really fucking gross and it isn't age restricted on youtube so if you don't feel comfortable seeing this uncomfortable 11 year old sexualizing sort of YouTube video posted by Netflix. Click away out of my video, I won't be insulted. But I'm gonna show this fully uncensored so you can see what they thought was acceptable to post about 11 year olds. And for those still here, I also wanna show the uncensored cover so you can just see like how fucked up this is. So it's on screen right now. This is a problem, Netflix. Fix this shit. And whether this film is supposed to tackle and desexualize minors are supposed to go against the idea of sexualizing minors, it clearly doesn't do that. Because even from watching this trailer, the way it's been cut together, this trailer presents the film in all the wrong ways. Literally starts with sexualization, inappropriate dancing, and just... <laughs> this isn't even close to the bad part. Mais qu'est-ce que c'est que ça? 
faisiez quoi à la guerre On va danser au concours. Now this is weird, but it just gets so fucking bad. Get ready. Quoi Here we go, get ready. Already this pose and... What the fuck? This is not okay. The gra... Oh, God. Cut back to this bit. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Grabber never go... Now, this is a joke bit, but the short shorts are so problematic in this scene. Like, why the fuck would anyone think this is okay? Like, yeah, I get, sp I get it's supposed to be a joke, but the clothing, really? <laughs> That's a girl in the background of that Facebook video twerking. That is not okay. That is not okay. That is... How many times do I have to repeat? That is not okay. And they shoehorn in religion in a way that comes off so offensively to everyone. As, as you can see, a girl's dancing again. I'm pretty sure in that shot you can actually see a girl's underwear on the right. Not really sure how I feel about that. That shouldn't be... Oh. That shouldn't have been left in. <laughs> right, so this bit's so stupid. This girl steals money, right, from my mum. <laughs> and they waste it on buying seductive, inappropriate clothing, like bras, really tight underwear to wear on their tight short shorts. This, I get this supposed to be a joke, but this still isn't right at all. It just comes off even fucking worse than before. And then this bit, they portray the mother like she's the bad guy. The mother has just seen her daughter doing provocative, disgusting shit, and she's rightfully punished her for it. I don't see why people are having... I don't see why people are even trying to defend this scene as the mother being a bad guy. don't see why anyone who made this film thought this made the mother be the bad guy. The mother was punishing her daughter for doing something that she shouldn't be doing to teach her daughter not to do it in the future. That's the only common sense behind that. Maybe a slap is a bit harsh, but it's still a serious thing that the mother has acted seriously against. Why is that a thing that this film in, in a second presents as the mother as a bad person? This fucking bit, okay. So, these guys, right, ask how old these girls are. Look at their fucking faces, what the fuck? This guy's got his fucking tongue out. This guy's grinning, this guy's grinning as well. Ugh. Uh, oh, it's such a disgusting fucking scene. Who thought that would be okay? This is not a comment of age story. This is straight up pedo material. Everyone hates this movie, just remove it from how disgusting and horrible it is. Why enough with the name it cuties, that's just weird in itself, especially when talking about young girls. They forgot to dedicate this movie to Jeffrey Epstein at the start. Who were the parents who agreed to this, basically selling away your child for money? The irony is that Netflix has labelled this for mature audience and not suitable for them under 17. Yet the film is about 11 year olds. Do not air this, they're too young, don't sexualise young girls. When you have to be over 17 to watch a movie about 11 year olds and they still claim they're not sexualising these girls, that makes sense, 5 out of star rating from Jeffrey Epstein. Everyone is rightfully disgusted with this film. People like Some Ordinary Gamers and more have made videos about how fucking disgusting this is. And nobody at all supports this film. Everyone wants it removed and yet Netflix for some reason decides not to because I guess they're contractually blind blinded or who else knows what's going on behind the scenes. But this shit needs to be gone. Netflix needs to fix whatever obligation they have and get this shit off of the air because this is not okay and it should not be presented to any audience, let alone only adults. That is really disgusting. This should not be available. This is just a pedo bait and it's bad. Really bad. Netflix, fix your shit, man, because this is not okay. And I have. Oh my god, man. Anyway.
that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I've tried my best to explain just how fucking disgusting this is and show you everything to it. I hope you have enjoyed it, and for those people that voted for this, I appreciate it. Your support helps me continue my channel. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. You can also channel join below. But the biggest thing is, join my Discord. You can see fan art. Have a bunch of fun, and we're almost at 500 members. Please join the Discord. It means a lot. Anyway, I appreciate it. Discord down below. Second channel down below for gaming. And peace. Follow over my socials as well, like Twitter, because at not Holly. Yeah, you know, please support me. That would be swag. Peace, dudes. Says you wanna rock with me. Let me. I'm a stylish guy. Spend a little walk with me. Let me. We can catch a fly. Says you wanna rock with me. Let me.